What do you do after submitting all of the data required in the 127 page security clearance background investigation form or SF-86? You wait. Hi, this is Lindy Kaiser with clearancejobs.com. A common question that we get, and that I literally just saw pop up this week, is hey, how do I check on my EQIP status after I have submitted it? EQIP is currently the form used to process the vast majority of SF-86 security clearance background investigations. EAP is heading to a background investigation near you. DCSA released a short video about that this week that you can check out if you go to dcsa.gov. So they are releasing eApp, but regardless of whether it's eQuip or eApp, when you submit your data, um, right now there is no tracking or ability for you as the applicant to log back in and check on your status. This is a major pain point for the Domino's generation. You know who you are. You can order a pizza, you can order an Uber and literally real-time track it. Unfortunately, we don't have that availability with the security clearance background investigation. It is something the government is aware of, that it's a, it's a known desire. Um, government industry, a lot of the amazing contractors out there helping to assist DCSA with its process certainly know um, that as a part of INVIS or improvements on background investigation technology, having that tracking ability for applications, applicants would be a huge advantage. It would be great for transparency in the process and it would also be good for security officers as well. Right now for security officers, a lot of times the tracking process even within DIS or their security clearance systems of record, it can be a little clunky. So having a more transparent ability to check on your clearance status is on the security clearance wish list. I'm not in a position on this video update to tell you the likelihood of that, but hey, let's keep dreaming big dreams, people. Come on, industry, you've got the solution. Um, but we do know that DCSA has a major mission ahead of it as it's rolling out in this. Um, it has, again, it's taken over that legacy system from OPM that was hacked by China. So they kind of have to deal with the security piece first, but that is something that I think we will see in, in future iterations, and I certainly hope we will see that ability to track once you submit. So the other way this comes up, hey, I forgot to put something on my eQuip, what do I do? Well, the good news with eApp, it will be harder to leave out information. Again, the intuitiveness, the improvements of, of eApp really are significant. It will be a lot harder to not include some of the things that you might have missed on eQuip. So that is the good news, eApp, vast improvement, eApp also heading to a background investigation near you. But if you have submitted the eQuip or the eApp and you find that there's um, you know, something that you missed, you're gonna wanna reach out to your security officer or if you get contacted by a background investigator to do a personal subject interview, you can provide that update to them. Again, read the details of the form to make sure that whatever you are reporting post submission of the application is something that really needs to be reported. Reporting additional or erroneous information will simply slow down the process. But if you need to, again, you're gonna have to go through your security officer. It's still a person process. Um, you don't have the ability to go back in, log back in to your eQuip or eApp and check on your status today, right now. That's the way the system works. So if you have questions, go to that person. Once you submit the form, it goes on the form. And I know that's a pain point. Um, it can be a long waiting game. The good news is I'm here for you. So if you are in that waiting process, check us out over at clearancejobs.com where we literally have thousands of articles to help you bide your time as you wait for your security clearance. Newsletters, our blog is a great place to go. Check out the forum there. There are lots of folks who are posting, hey, this is my timeline. I applied with this agency. This is what I'm seeing. This is when I was contacted. Every security clearance background investigation is unique, but we have communities there that you can be a part of to help you through the waiting game. Um, and it can be you know, a somewhat tedious process, but the good news is it is vastly improved and faster than it used to be. Um, so again, being proactive, filling out the form correctly is the best thing that you can do to speed up that process. And again, unfortunately, once you submit it, no, you cannot track that pizza delivery. But again, for all of those articles you can read while you bide your time and wait, visit us over at clearancejobs.com.